Hi, welcome to Working Horses with Jim. I'm Brenda and I'm Jim's wife and we work draft horses and today we have our granddaughters Ellis Marie and Noel. They're visiting us from Vermont and we, we've been busy in the garden getting some things done but Jim's been out here with the horses all day long today mowing hay and it's been kind of a trying day because it, this day started out with a rain shower again so everything's wet and so thick and lush how you doing hon doing okay getting tired Been a long day frustrating day um it's uh it's very heavy second cutting it's been so wet the ground is finally okay but the grass is so thick and the wetness is right down through to the bottom it's finally dry tonight and it should mow a little bit better but it's not mowing the best I have I broke my my uh, swath board I'm over here I'll show you what the swath board is I had a steel swath board on here this is this is a swath board and I broke that um, before supper and I went around two or three times without the swath board and it's just so hard to even see where I was going so I put a new one on. It's just a, an ash piece of ash that I, th I threw on there that should work. I'm trying a few different things. The, my biggest problem I'm having is it balling up on the end of the guards. And so um, I am trying a few more things. I've got uh, some stub guards right here. And on the inner sh by the inner shoe, there's stub guards there. Um, and that's working pretty good. The other day I actually tried something um, completely uh, that I've never seen before or heard of anyone do but I actually put stub guards the whole way on my cutter bars and it, it didn't work good at all it worked terrible so I went and put my regular guards back on and but now I'm thinking well, maybe I'll just put like stub guards uh, these guards here are double guards so if I took off a double guard and then I could put on two stub guards you guys that know mow machines you know what I'm talking about so I'd go every other Every other double guard would be a stub would be stub guards, and I don't know if that would work better or not. But um, yeah, it's it's a kind of experimental thing. I've never really heard of anyone actually using um, stub guards all the way through, or a lot of stub guards. Most people that I know of just use either one or three stub guards right there on the inner shoe. So, anyways, I'm experimenting with that, and and uh, this second cutting is quite thick and it is quite hard to mow um but we're we're getting her done so and you hope to get this all done tonight yeah i hope to get this done tonight well that still so, looks like quite a lot it is but i get going yep so this morning i did use um lady and ken together and mowed with them for a little while and the rest of the day these guys have been working and these guys still have a lot of energy and like to walk really fast so i'm hoping if i can keep my mower troubles from stopping me we'll get it done a lot faster because of their speed I kept that. I, 
I think I'm gonna be letting my granddaughters do a little filming tonight. They can run like crazy and we'll just make sure they stay on the right side of the, the mower and we'll let them do a little bit of filming. Just to give you an idea of the troubles that I have, that's the very first time all day long I made it the whole stretch without plugging up. Wow. It's been a, it's been a long day. Yeah. Here. Okay, girls. You know, of course, that if you get on that side over there, yeah. that is extremely yeah. dangerous. But I'm gonna let you, you gotta look through. I'll go with you. You just touch it, touch the screen. Alice Murray, can I have the phone? Quite annoying. I want to take a picture of you guys filming. I think I would like that. Maybe when we're out here. Can we go see the cabin because we're already so close? Maybe. We, don't, we just like take this camera like this so I have it on. So the girls have decided they're going to run through the corn. Of course, we wouldn't recommend this if it was <laughs> not such a small patch. But let's, we're going to give the camera to them in just a second. If I can catch up to them. Let me go in front. What we should do? Look what I'm calling. If 
probably come upon it. I got it. Point. Point. You made it. <laughs> Good job. Let's get an ear and see how the corn oh, looks. I want to. I want to get one. We'll go, both get one. Both get one. Pick a big one. Open it. Yeah. Coming. Pretty good. There. Well, it's not quite as ready. <laughs> coming along, coming along. Started our potato harvest. Ooh, looking good. We we're gonna have a lot of potatoes. But um I wanted to kind of start on it today, but we got that rain this morning, so I want them to dry out a little before I bring them in. But it looks like we're gonna have a bumper crop. And the chickens over here are loving the corn. You like it, Jean? So we do have some, our grapes are doing well. The Japanese beetles have been in it, but um, they're getting ripe. And the, the ones that are like um, that, I don't know what color that is, like that. Those are, whoop, just a minute. I missed it. There they are. They're really sweet and good. And we found out the chickens just love them. <laughs> I think they like them almost as much as night crawlers or worms. Come on, Jeannie. She's got a worm. That's a good one. We've got lots more to do tomorrow.
Hi everybody. So today we have Lady and Bill out tedding hay for us. William, our Amish employee, is doing the driving and this is the first time he's drove these two but uh, I think he'll do just well, just fine with them. So we'll watch for a little bit and see how the tedding goes. So Alice Marie, our granddaughter, wants to try her hand at droning. So I'm gonna let her see what she can do. We tedded this once already today and here it is late afternoon and we're gonna hit it again. We're trying to really push it and get this stuff dry so that we have ready to bail for tomorrow. Hi, so we're out in the potato patch here and both of these girls have been helping me a lot and we've got a whole line of potatoes. We've got quite a crop this year. Actually two. Two what? Two lines. Oh yeah, two lines of potatoes. And um, we still have another row to go but we're not going to do that today. So we're letting them just uh, dry off in the sun a little bit. We'll rub off some of the dirt and then we will put them in the basement in a cool place in complete darkness to be stored for our winter supply of potatoes and then some. And um, I am really happy for all the help. We kind of loosen both sides of the row and then we just go through and find them. And the soil is still really moist, so we just let them dry out a little bit and then we'll pick them up. I'm so glad for my granddaughter's help. And thank you, Ellis Marie, for filming today.
So as I was giving Bree her lesson, I got a phone call. So I had to stop and talk on the phone, and Bree just continued walking right along with me, no problem at all. Here we have Noelle, our granddaughter, picking apples. The apple crop is really good this year, so she's getting quite a few. Bree is doing quite well this afternoon, but this morning I took her out and she really didn't do that well. But I'm glad she's doing better now. So I think while I have her out, I'm going to attempt to put her up on the stairs again and so she'll go down the other stairs that I've never been able to put her down before. I've only tried once, but she didn't want to go down, so we'll see what she does this time. Just like a pro. Oh. Bree, our you're awesome. Our lesson is done for the day. Um, the girls were wondering if she could have some apple. if she could have some apple. Oh sure. Well, How about just go give her a piece of one of the apples you cut earlier? If you get something in the house that you've already cut, instead of giving her a whole apple, just give her a, a bite. I'm How's not that? Sure if they're not all in there. There's probably a piece right there. She's coming right in. Or like this. Well, that, let's see what she wants. No, stay there. Stay there. Come here, Brianne. The door's closing on her. <laughs> well, that just won't do, will it? Hey, my, my apples? Hey, I'll call you back in a second. Oh. <laughs> She's like, oh yeah, I like coming in. Oh. <laughs> she took a bite out of it. Just give it to her. No, no, no. This one you can't have. Hi. Who's, who's on poop control? <laughs> Not me. Papa. Oh, Brie, you look really cute in here. Trying to push that chair and so I can walk around, walk around the table. Come here. This was completely unplanned. We're in the middle of making some apple juice. Push that chair in. And we have a visitor. We gotta get out of here. Yeah, it's slippery. For her little hooves. See you, girls. God bless. Yeah. Come again, Brie. Uh, Noelle, you can give her another piece. Carol, give her another piece. Mm. Papa's in trouble then. Why? We'll see. It might, it might be like her hoof. We'll check it out. At least it's a, you know, a natural sweet treat. Better hold your hand flat. No, oh, well, so you don't bite your fingers. Look, if you lay it on the ground, probably, probably let it run down the street. Good job, Bree. Probably that's enough, actually. That's why I want just a, a, a bite, you know, a, a piece of the apple. Yeah. That's a really nice apple. She deserves it. Look at her, she's chewing. So cute. <laughs> you can give it to her mom or somebody else. Yeah, give it to the lady. 
Can give I it to give it to Mom? Give it to Lady. Come here. Oh, well, Noelle's hey. barefoot. You were it too. I can take it in to her. I can don't, just don't chuck it because it might scare her. Can you give that to me? I'll put it in a manger. Good girl. Hi, lady. Well, that was awesome after she didn't want to do it last time. She just did it. Well, we're barefoot, Papa. That's all right. It's all right. It doesn't matter if she stomps on your feet. Ow! I'm just kidding. I'm it kidding. I'm kidding. You can, like, let's, let's, Go like this. I'll hold it. Oh, you got her tamed up? A little bit. A little. Well, thanks for coming along t with us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. Do you have any parting world words, girls? Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, we're supposed to do that. This is the time. Thing. This is the time. Wait, I need to catch a kitten. What thing? Um, the, um, the, uh, the merchandise sale. Okay. Okay. Oh, one last thing. In honor of our grandkids being here and helping us so much, we were thinking about having a sale on our merchandise because we're at the point where, um, we're ready to get some new merchandise, but we want to just clear out some of the old maybe. So we're having a sale of $5 off any, anything you buy. And that you, there's a promo code and it is, what you need to type in the promo code is GRANDS. G-R-A-N-D-S, all in, in um, small letters, GRANDS. And um, that sale will just run through Sunday. Um, and I'm gonna have some good helpers here to help me get orders ready. Thanks for coming along today. We hope you enjoyed the video. Grands, right here, grands. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! That was funny. Black